Hello everyone, welcome back to our straight lines concept. Here, uh, till now we have discussed discuss, uh, discuss different uh, equations and the different forms of straight lines. And uh, today we are going to discuss a new topic that is uh, how to find a point of intersection of the two lines and how to what happens if more than two lines intersect at a point. Okay, see here. Uh, point of intersection of the two points is solving the two given equations that is we are uh, familiar with the different uh, uh, solving methods such as uh, we have learned the graphical method we have learned a simple trial and error method we have learned the substitution method cross multiplication method there are many more we, we are going to learn different different methods in this second first year that is we will uh, find out the values of x and y by using different matrix methods okay as of now in this chapter we will use most of the time we use cross multiplication method to find the values of x and y that is we will find the point of intersection okay if uh, more than two lines intersect at a particular point then those lines are called as concurrent lines is it clear a concurrency is a concept where two or more lines intersect at the same point. That point is called as point of concurrency and those lines are called as concurrent lines. Is it okay? If two lines intersect, that is called as intersection. Okay? That point is called as point of intersection. If more than two lines, let us say some three lines are intersecting at that point then that particular point is called as point of concurrency and these lines are called as concurrent lines is it clear now let us check and there is one more simple concept which we will discuss in this uh, session is uh, if there are two points and one straight line is given then how to find the ratio of uh, the distances from this point to this line is it clear how to find the ratios of the distances from these points to the line and this also gives the information about where do these points uh, locate from this line whether they lie on the same side or they lie on the opposite side or they lie on the line of a given condition okay let us check that to know that we have some uh, method like minus L double 1 by L double 2 where this L double 1 let us say if this is a line L equal to 0 and the points A and B are the two points for which we are going to check the condition if we substitute A in this equation we will get the value of L double 1 the first point if we substitute the second point in this equation we get the L double 2 now by substituting this by simplifying this if this value is greater than 0 it is clearly proven that both the points lie on the opposite sides of a line if this ratio is less than 0 the two points lie on the same side like this if this is equal to 0 they lie on the line okay let us find this kind of problems see here there is a given equation L equal to 0 and these are two points let us find L double 1 first L double 1 is we have to substitute this point in this equation 3 into 2 minus 4 into minus 7 minus 7 since this is 7 is that side we will bring that this 3 2 is 6 4 7 is 28 minus 7 how much is it 6 minus 7 is minus 1 it is 27 next L double 2 that is we have to substitute the second point in this 3 into minus 1 minus 4 into 3 minus 7 this is minus 3 minus 12 minus 7 right all are negative here 3 into minus 1 minus 4 into minus 3 and minus 7 here it is minus 22 now let us find the ratio of minus l double 1 by l double 2 minus l double 1 by l double 2 that is minus 27 by already L double 2 is minus 22 minus minus get cancel it is 27 by 22 which is a positive number 
it is always greater than 0. Therefore, according to our condition, the two points lie on the opposite sides of the line. Therefore, they lie on opposite sides. Is it okay? Hmm? All the time, what all we have seen till now, uh, first thing we will find that, after that we will find the variable in it, if they, if they give some k or l or m or something else. Let us check for this also, there is one more example like this. He tells that this equation, for this equation these two points lie on same side. Is it okay? For which we have to find the value of minus l double 1 by l double 2. Same side is less than 0. Okay. Let us uh, find L double 1 minus of what is L double 1? We have to substitute this in that 3 into 1 minus 5 into 2 plus A divided by L double 2 is 3 into 3 minus 5 into 4 plus A that is less than 0. Is it okay? Let us transform this denominator to that side and let us check minus of 3 minus 10 plus a is less than 0. Transform this minus also to that side. It will become greater than 0. Remember that. How to remember that is, see here, I will give you an example. We know that 5 is greater than 3. Okay. Apply minus on both sides. What happens? Is minus 5 greater than minus 3? Never. Minus 5 is less than minus 3. Okay. That is, if we transform the negative signs or if we apply negative signs on the both sides, this less than or greater than symbol will change. Just try to understand. Let me give you one more example. 5 is greater than minus 3. We all know that. Bring that minus this side. Which is more? Minus 5 or 3? 3 is more. That's why minus 5 is less than 3. Is that clear? That's why we are, we are going to transform this less than symbol to greater than. 3 minus 10 is minus 7 plus a. Send this a 7 that side. Therefore, the limits are a is always greater than 7. Is it clear? Done. Uh, now, let us find the concurrency point and let us check whether these three lines are concurrent or not. Okay. What did we discuss about concurrency? The three lines should meet at a particular point. That particular point is called as point of concurrency and these three lines are called as concurrent lines. In order to find the concurrency condition, first we have to solve the first two equations. Let us solve the first two equations in cross multiplication method which is highly feasible in this straight line chapter. Let us see that. Let us take first two equations ok remember the term first take y coefficient then x constant then x x coefficient again pi coefficient understood this 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 and this b c a b ok the next step for the second equation y coefficient constant x coefficient constant simply remember the term b cap bar b c a b beach mein se start karna y coefficient constant x coefficient and y coefficient is it clear now put x y 1 on the above ok now see here x divided by just find the determinant of this 1 into minus 2 minus 2 into minus 3 1 into minus 2 minus 2 into minus 3 Next, y by minus 3 into 3 minus first this, then next this, minus, minus 2 into 2. That is equal to 1 by again, 2 to the 4 minus 3 into 1. Let us simplify this. x by minus 2 plus 6, y by minus 9 plus 4, 1 by 4 minus 3 x by 4 equal to y by 4 minus 9 is minus 5 is equal to 1. Equate these both and equate these both. We will directly get x is equal to 4 and y is equal to minus 5. Is it okay? This is point of intersection of the first 
two equations. Now let us check whether these three are concurrent. That is, if we substitute in this, if that point gets satisfied in this equation, then obviously it is clear that three are intersecting at a same point or they are called as concurrent. Now let us substitute 4 comma minus 5 in equation 3. Let us check 2 into 4 minus 3 into minus 5 minus 23 equal to 0. 2 4 is 8, 3 5 is 15 minus 23. 8 plus 15 is 23 minus 23 that is 0 equal to 0. Therefore, given lines are therefore given lines are concurrent. Is it clear? Okay. Now we will discuss the concurrency condition in different way. In the previous thing we have discussed about solving uh, two equations in the cross multiplication method. We have got the point of concurrency. We have substituted that in the third equation. If uh, it is satisfied then we are telling that these three lines are concurrent. Okay. Now let us find the different method. I mean let us solve in different method that is matrix determinant method. If the determinant of the three equations that is the coefficient of three equations ka determinant is equal to zero then the three equations are said to be concurrent. Okay. Let us solve that in this way. See here he is asking us to find k for which these three equations are concurrent. Okay. Let us substitute it. The determinant of 2 minus 3 and k 3 minus 4 and minus 13 8 minus 11 and minus 33 is equal to 0. Okay. Hope you all know how to solve a 3 by 3 determinant of a matrix. If not let us check it again. See here the first step we have to place the signs plus minus plus on the top of the first row then take the first term that is plus 2 and close its first row and first column. The left out terms forms a 2 by 2 matrix. Now we have to find the determinant of this 2 by 2 that is minus 4 into minus 3 33 and minus of minus 11 into minus 13. Is it clear? As we have solved in the uh, as we used to solve in the cross multiplication method. Then next this second term already there is a minus and we have put one more minus into we have to close these both terms. Let us erase this. We have to close these both terms. Then it forms a particular 2 by 2 matrix that is 3 into minus 33 minus 8 into minus 13. Is it okay? Plus k into close these both first row and this column 3 into minus 11 minus 8 into sorry uh, minus 8 into minus 4 that is equal to 0. Now let us solve this 2 into 4 into 33. 33 into minus minus into minus plus 33 4 are 4 3 are 12 4 3 are 12 and 32 minus minus into minus plus plus into minus minus it becomes minus 11 into 13 that is 143 minus into minus plus 3 33 into 3 how much is it minus 99 8 into 13 is 104 plus k into 3 into 11 is minus 33, 8 into 4 is plus 32. Okay, 132 minus 143, how much is it? Minus 11 plus 3 into 104 minus 99, 5. Plus k into 32 minus 33 is minus 1, that is equal to 0. Here it is minus 22, here it is plus 15, minus k is equal to 0. Minus 22 plus 15, how much is it? Minus 7 minus k is equal to 0. Finally, we got k is equal to minus 7. Is it clear? This is how we solve concurrency problem by using this matrix determinant method. Let us do the same thing in the 
next problem here they give three equations they are telling that these three equations are concurrent and they asked us to prove this condition okay let us do that modulus i mean the determinant of coefficients a b c b c a and c a b is ka determinant is zero okay let us find it plus minus plus the next a into this determinant c b minus a square minus b into we have to close these both b square minus a c plus c into we have to close these both and the left out is these both b a minus c square equal to zero is it clear let us simplify this and check whether the same condition are we getting or not a c b is can be written as a b c a into a square is a cube b into b square is b cube b a c minus it minus plus it becomes a b c c b a it is again a b c c into c square is c cube how many a b c's are there 3 a b c send the remaining a q plus b q plus c q therefore a q plus b q plus c q is equal to 3 a b c this is the final condition is it clear this is what we will this is how we find the different concurrency conditions and other things is it okay done these are the topics for today Let's discuss the remaining concepts in the next class. Thank you.